What's up guys, Trevor Hunter here with Dirt Bike Test. Today we're here with Jeff Belknap testing out the 2023 Kawasaki KX450X. This is their off-road race bike, very similar to the KX450 motocross bike, with just a few key changes to the, uh, the platform. Uh, an 18-inch rear wheel, a kickstand, softer suspension, and the, the mellow or black mapping coupler comes stock. But for the most part, other than that, it's pretty, pretty much identical to the motocross bike. So Jeff, you have experience on some Honda 450s and some Yamaha 450s. Take us through your initial thoughts on like the Cowie with the motor. Start with the motor. Uh, yeah, so I had the older generation. Uh, same thing, motor was really mellow. Uh, this one, I feel like the motor's a little bit more peppy, but it's really smooth. And I think it's very like vet, senior friendly, if yeah. you would. Um, I, I thought the bike power delivery was awesome. You know, and I know this was our first kind of test at it, so, you know, we didn't get to test that other coupler, but I think that right off the bat, this bike is super easy to ride. Very, very smooth on power delivery. Yeah, the Kawasaki, it's got pretty good power, but it's very controllable and user-friendly and easy to ride, and it works well for like a pro like me, uh, or like a senior, past. the past, like, <laughs> like Jeff here. Uh, it's very easy to ride fast, and very like confidence inspiring. It's not like a, it's like a Honda or maybe a Yamaha, a little aggressive to get over your head a little bit. Which is a Kawasaki, it's a little smoother, more friendly. Especially on the bigger turns, like these um, rolling turns for the GP stuff, really easy on the throttle and the yeah. bike handles really well. Like you were saying, the Yamaha having that extra horsepower. Yeah. For me, it makes it very challenging to like sweep through those corners where this bike did that very well, I thought. Yeah, and today we rode mainly with the, uh, the black or the stock coupler. Uh, which is more mellower with power delivery and it kind of suffered a little bit on over rev but honestly on the 450 we're not revving it all that much anyways so we actually kind of like the the black coupler kind of torquey um, ride a little taller gears uh, easier to ride and yeah so moving on to the suspension uh, suspension's a little soft typical for an off-road bike uh, most off-road race bikes come soft for either for faster guys or for heavier guys. Um, it's kind of, I'd say it's more for like the 180 pound, 170 pound, B level, maybe C level off-road rider, um, or even like tight woods and stuff like that. But out here on the West Coast, it's a little soft for my liking. Um, how did it work for you today? Yeah, I agree with you, especially being here at Glen Helen. It's rougher track versus just being, you know, more in the woods or something like that. Yep. Um, but yeah, I'm a little heavier, so obviously a little bit more spring probably for me. Um, but overall, I think just putting some spring in it, you could probably get the clickers pretty close to, you know, a happy medium. Yeah. Now it's pretty, even though it is soft, it doesn't feel dangerously soft. No. Um, it's just more a little, a little plusher. Uh, rides a little lower in the stroke, which at times makes it feel a little harsher. But in slow speed stuff where it's not ultra rough like it is a typical Glen Helen motocross day, uh, it especially does work fairly decent. Yeah. Yeah, in the woods when we did the back section over there, I thought it handled it all pretty well. Yeah. I was pretty impressed. On to the handling. Um, that kind of is one of the strong points of the Kawasaki chassis. It's so forgiving and easy to ride and comfortable. Um, <clears throat> with the frame flex and everything, you can hit square edges and whoops and bumps. And it's very comfortable to the your hands and your feet and your whole body. Uh, it's not kicking side to side. It's not getting out of control. It's not, you're, you feel like you're riding the bike, not the bike's riding you. Uh, which is very confidence inspiring for older guys, faster guys, slower guys. Like, I, to me, it's a big positive of this bike. Um, even with how stable it is, it corners pretty well. Yeah, I thought so too. And it didn't matter if you were standing up through your corners or sitting down through them. Um, to me, like you said, it's just, you can jump on this bike and it just felt very natural and very comfortable for me. Yeah. It's right. real slim, easy to get up on the seat for your corners. Yeah. Uh, rider cockpit, it's kind of, for the most part, it's pretty um, universal and most people can jump right on it right away. The levers, especially the brake lever, it's very thin and narrow and kind of just uncomfortable to the, to the hand. Um, the point where I find myself using the front brake less than I normally would. Um, but that's a pretty easy, cheap fix. You can get an ARC or ASV or something and throw that on there and that's taken care of. Um, you notice the handlebars are a little narrow for your liking. Yeah, I agree with you that the levers, I would change those out. Um, I don't know, it's just a weird feel to me as well. Um, and the handlebars, a little bit on the narrow side, you know, um, but once again, you're probably gonna do that anyways. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, a little bit narrow on the handlebars for me. Yeah, um, seat, it's nice and flat, easy to move around on. It's comfortable, the shape is nice, the foam density is pretty good. 
Um, the seat to the handlebar positioning is pretty good. Also, if you're a taller rider, you can move those to the forward mounts. Foot pegs, you can move to the lower mounts, um, depending on your height and your preferences. Today, we left that stock just for the first ride. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty good machine. Um, it's plenty capable to go racing on right now as it sits. Maybe throw a tank on there. The stock motocross style tank isn't quite enough for longer off-road races. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty solid bike. Yeah, no, I agree with you 100%. Overall, I mean, it's a real easy bike to ride. Uh, brakes did work good, even though, like I said, the lever was a little weird. Yeah. Um, but very easy. I could see you doing an hour moto, no problem on these. Yeah, It'd be a good time. Uh, I think the gearing was really good, too, actually. Yeah, gearing comes with a 51 tooth rear sprocket instead of the 50. Like the motocross bike, that's another change. Um, it's got a lot a more pep, and for the slower speed stuff, you can chug along better. But yeah, overall, it's a really good bike. Uh, this is just our first day on it, so look forward to building from here, seeing how we can make it better. You know, hopefully not make it worse, but definitely we can make it a little bit better and suit it for our needs, and we'll be back for uh, for more. So stay tuned to Dirt Bike Test for the more on this Kawasaki KX450X and all other things dirt bikes. We'll catch you on the trail.